Pizza, do you have somebody who writes you lists that I, you tear up into tiny pieces and chuck in the recycling? Do you know what? I live alone and I'm completely autonomous. I don't need any lists and I don't need any woman, however well-meaning, to provide them for me. Is that because it's only you, so you've only got yourself to look after? Yeah. And the reality is that as things grow and there's more and more responsibilities, that actually there's more things we need reminding of? No, I don't think so. I mean, I'm juggling lots of different tasks all the time and I've obviously got a big family and I, you know, have lots of different responsibilities. And amazingly, I manage them all just quite fine. Thank you very much. So it's all good. Anime well, Mangan, are you more like Kate in I'm, the I'm leaving of the list in the morning? I call myself the chairman of the ironing board. <laughs> <laughs> I, I run the show. I mean, what's wrong with that? My husband doesn't want to. I mean, he doesn't mind doing anything as long as he doesn't have to think about it. So I leave him the list and he cracks on with it. I mean, I must admit, when he does stuff, I mean, there's virtually an award ceremony that has to take place. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Put him on the podium, play the national anthem, he's hoovered. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, but does yeah. he do it? Just off his own back, or does he do it because you've written on no, the list? No, he that claims that he claims that he can't remember things. He claims that even though the same chores—I mean, that's not a new household chore every day. You know, no. it's a dish. It's the same old, old routine. Mm -hmm. He can't remember it. But if I said to him, "Hey, it's a football match tonight, and then um, we're going to have to take away curry, and then we're going to have an early night," he'd remember that. No, no trouble whatsoever. <laughs> but if Are I you said to him, an bins, early night to doing the bins." Well, it's kind of foreplay, isn't it, really? <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I, they're, they're, well, so, I mean, it's an interesting point. Now. I mean, they're slightly different propositions, uh, I'd like to think. They certainly are in our household. <laughs> a chance would be a fine thing. But, Peter, uh, there, there is a... You've sort of drifted yeah, off too much information. Too much information. Too much information. <laughs> but, but, the, but I think the interesting thing is that, that what Anna has worked out, and they have, and as Kate clearly has in their house, there is a system that works, and actually, if that system works, without that system, suddenly everything mm. slowly unpicks and falls apart. Yeah, the, I suppose your point, Peter, might be that actually there are other systems that work. Absolutely. And, and, and what I would always say, there is actually a technical term for this phenomenon and not a lot of people know it. And it's actually called woman-splaining. <laughs> oh. Well, you see, that, could that be the point, Anna? Because as a fellow list writer and, mm. and control freak, is it because of a slight feeling that if it's not done my way, I think it's going to fall apart? Like, not I think Billy's going to be upset or this is going to happen or that's going to happen or the children are going to... Whereas, actually, what Derek might say is, do you know what? If I don't forget to do that, they'll be fine and they'll yeah, cope with it. It's OK. Men say that to dump the jobs on the women because, oh. both, I mean, I'm assuming you like to get into a clean bed. I'm assuming that you like food in your fridge. I'm assuming that you wash your clothes. Mm. So if you do all of that and you're in a partnership, it should be 50-50. And, actually, I think things are changing now because men are doing shared parental leave and all sorts of things are, are shifting. So, yeah. But as a man, do you think there's a sense that, that men can be quite good at allowing control to be taken off them so they can relinquish responsibility a little bit and kind of go, do you know what, I'm quite happy for my partner to take control of that and I'll just sit here and just let me, just tell me what you need me to do and when you need me to do it and I'm happy to do it. Cause, and taking that back seat becomes easier and easier the more they like to mm. take over. Do you know what? I actually don't think it's about gender. I think it's about personality types across the board. And people who micromanage are often their own worst enemy because when you micromanage somebody, mm. you create a mm. cycle. Mm. I think you're right. What happens yeah. is the, the subject becomes apathetic and they say, well, I'm, look, I'm going to get it wrong. I'm just going to mm. follow this to the letter. I'm not going to do anything. I'm paralysed by fear of getting it wrong. So I just become yeah. weak mm. and, and useless. And so these people who micromanage are often their own worst enemies. So, so you, Anna, yeah. do, you think, do you think you've created a monster, a monster of your... A lazy, a lazy monster. No, definitely, <laughs> definitely not. And it's so mundane doing this stuff. And I think there's a lot of men in Britain who should be called Ron, and in front of that should be later, because all they say is later on when you ask them to what do anything. What happens if you just don't do any of the stuff that you feel like you're doing too much of yeah. and you're writing a list for your husband to do? But what would, how long would it take for the whole household to just crumble into dust? Well, how long? I mean, if you didn't empty the bin, how long would it take to, fi to fill up but the kitchen floor? how long floor? would it take for your husband to realise the bin needs emptying without you telling him? But then it, it doesn't take two people to worry about the same things in a, mar a marriage or a partnership. So I run the house mm. and he cooperates fully, <laughs> thank goodness. <laughs> but if the bin is overflowing, surely yeah. there's a point at which he realises that no one else is going to take the bin out unless he takes the bin out. Yeah, but that sort of one-upmanship, how far do you go? Dirty underwear? And and, uh, no food in the fridge, no milk for the coffee. You know, you, you, it's dangerous, isn't it? That's a dangerous tactic, and it causes arguments. Whereas a list reduces any need for an Who's argument and for? even a discussion about Who's it. Who's it dangerous is for? Is it dangerous for you because you'd feel uncomfortable? Or is it dangerous because it gets unhealthy? I don't. Well, it's dangerous because cockroaches would come. Yeah, yeah. But do you think? They, do you think it would? Do you really think it would get that bad? 
I don't know. I mean, if, if you're totally unengaged from housework mm -hmm. and won't do it unless you're invited to do but it, But I just yeah, wonder whether he's got into the habit of just being told all the time. Well, whereas I write it if... down and he does it. I yeah, mean, but whereas great... if you didn't yeah. write it down, maybe he got... might just do it. Peter, have you got any, you got <laughs> any friends that Anna's describing? Do you see that in some of your m m male friends that sort of got into relationships where they've let their partner take over? Yeah, and I always tell them off because I think you should. nobody should ever be under the thumb. But I also know... Unless they've let yeah. themselves. This is what I wonder about, whether people... You know, and as you say, it may not be about gender, but whether you've just sort of allowed yourself to get into the position, position where you, you don't take initiative, you just wait to be told. Because mm -hmm. that's what the head teacher's saying, is we're infantilising partners by telling them all the time, which doesn't allow them to develop their own responsibility. I suppose I'm sort of, you know, I mean, as people know, I, I have three boys and I'm raising them and I'm also wondering yeah, about, you know, maybe yeah. I should do a little bit less and let them step up a little bit more so yeah. when they see the bin overflowing, they realise well, it.